So here's the same air conditioner with Facebook's ducting system added to it. Now the wall has been left here just to help orient you, but the whole system is actually underneath the van. So I'm going to take this off and this board off. This whole piece is underneath the van. None of it goes up through the floor except for the holes. The entire intake into the system, the whole hole that used to have intake and output, is now just for intake, a large hole. And it goes down into the, the, into the air conditioner through a long slot that goes very far. And then the output is over here. And if you can imagine you're active, this is where the floor underneath your cabinet is. And so two things major have happened. The whole opening and on both sides is appropriately sized for the air conditioner, but also the input is now comes through the input for your truma, which is that grating underneath the bench, underneath the table, and it's gonna come out underneath the cabinet, underneath your kitchen sink. The cabinet will fill with cold air and it will go over and come out of the grating that will be put in over the, the refrigerator. There's a large opening there in the refrigerator. Other DIY people will do something more clever, maybe even run some extra ducking and stuff, but that will sufficiently separate the input from the output so that it, the air now circulates through the whole cabin and cools the cabin. So two things will have happened. There'll be more separation between the input and output. So there's not a, a, a mouse, a hamster wheel of fast air moving in circles doing nothing. And also the amount of air that travels will be much greater.